For many years, I've been using Divi as a page builder and a theme all in one. But recently, I've been playing around with different options and I've just realized that I have much better tools and flexibility when I use a totally separate theme and the Divi Builder plugin. Now, before I show you how this works together, I'd like to remind you that there's a Divi anniversary sale. If you purchase Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to Divi University. Just click on the link in the video description below, drop me an email and I'll give you access to Divi University. All right. So once you've purchased Divi, you have these two options. You have an option to download the theme and you also have an option here to download the Divi Builder plugin. So what I've gone ahead and done here is I've gone ahead and downloaded the plugin, which is this option right here. So back over here, if you go to all plugins, you'll notice that we now have a Divi Builder like that. Now, this is not your usual way of installing Divi. So Divi Builder plugin was, is going to need a theme to work with it. So this is where I went ahead and installed the Astra theme. So this is the Astra theme right here. Now, why have I done this? Well, I have way more flexibility with the Astra theme than the Divi theme because to be honest, Divi theme has not been really updated for a very, very, very long time. The main focus was always on the Divi page builder itself. So... Astra now has been updating its theme for a very long time. It's light, it's fast, and it's full of features. So this is where I realized that I can actually customize my website even much better from the theme level and then use the Divi Builder as the page builder. So look at all this. So they have a header builder. Now this header builder is so easy to use and it is full of features. Now let me just show you something quickly. So you can see here, the way we choose colors is much better. I can go in here, click on my body text, and this will update globally. So I can just come over here. If I have a color palette, I can just go in and paste my colors like that. Now there's many more options I can come in here and customize. Now, if I need to go into the typography, I can always come back over here and choose all my fonts that I need to use. So here I can use these presets, and these are the fonts that really work well together, so they work as presets, but if I need to go in and choose my own, I can go in and choose my own body font here and then also my heading font. Now, I also have a settings option here where I can go in and go into this performance area. I can load my Google fonts locally. I can also preload my local fonts and I also have version control in case I need to uh, revert back to the working version. So as you can see here, there's quite a lot of features. I can white label this and make sure that I can enter my agency link, link over here. I can give this theme a name, customize it, give it my own description, give it my theme uh, screenshot over here on the bottom. So I can do quite a lot here, which is really good if you are a, an agency. So as you can see here, the theme alone comes with so much. In fact, I haven't even covered uh, a lot that this uh, theme can do. Now, I also mentioned that it can do also the headers and footers much, much easier. It's drag and drop. So in fact, let me just show you the interface and what it looks like. So let's go back to our dashboard. So if I were to go to my header builder here, so here's what it looks like. If I need to add anything in here, I'll just click on this plus button and I can choose what it is I need to add in here. So let's say I want to add a button. I can just click here and you can see here a button has been added and now I can go in and customize this button by coming over here. So you can see here, I can give it a link. I can open in a new tab by just customizing it like that. And my site logo can be adjusted by coming over here. If I click in here, I can add my site logo. I can also do a transparent header easily using this interface. So you can see here the option for the transparent header is here. I can go in and select that. So as you can see, I mean, it is very, very easy drag and drop. I can just, uh, if I need to have two um, headings here, I can have my logo here on the top. You can see it's just updated right away. My logo now is on the top, but if I want to drag it back here to this main uh, header, now you can see everything is in a straight line. So if I wanted to add more information on the top here, I can just click on this plus button here to add any elements that I want. And you can see there's quite a lot. I can even add widgets. I can add social icons. I can even add a search bar. So let's say I just click on that. You notice now we have our search right here on the top. Now what's cool is while I'm here, 
if I hover over this, I can just click on this pencil icon and now it gives me further adjustments. So you can see now, I can now adjust my width. I can go in here into the design. I can change the colors. I can configure pretty much everything from here. Now we also have an option to uh, go in and customize the mobile views, which is also why I really like using uh, this theme. I mean, it's very, very easy to use. Now, you're probably asking, so what happens? I mean, how does the Divi Builder actually work with this? Now, let's go to a page on our website that I've just created so I can show you that we haven't lost the experience of working with Divi. So I'm going to go to all pages because I already have a page here. Um, already so here it is i'm going to say edit with divi now we are going to get all our um, options to uh, design using divi so in a moment you can see here that this now is loading the divi builder but it's inside the astra theme so i want to say start building so let's say i want to add a new let's say full width header i can just click here go to my full width header and now i can go into my design and let's say i want this to be a full width and i want this all centered i can just click here that make this full screen and now if i need to uh, change anything in here i can just go to uh, content let's say i want to add a background image i can just click over here click on this plus button and also the ai options are also there as well okay so now i'm going to say upload an image and now I can go into my design tab, go to overlay. So I can choose the color I want to overlay with. So let's say it's going to be this black here. And now I can just add a bit of transparency. And you can see here slowly, this is taking shape. So it's pretty much similar to just working with DV uh, with the theme builder because no features here are lost i can drag and drop so let's say i want this right at the top you can see there that it is working fine and if i wanted to go to the dv theme builder i can go there create my templates and so on so this is in my opinion a much better way of um, working with a much modern workflow, still using Divi or the Divi Builder, but using a totally different uh, theme. In this case, it's the Astra theme. It's super fast and also it is packed full of features. So um, anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Did you know that you could actually do this? And um, how are you using Divi now? If there are some of you that are using it this way, please let me know in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.